Welcome to Short Corners, where we give you some quick thoughts on some of soccer's biggest topics of the week. I'm Amobi Kugo, back again with my guy L. L, how you feeling today? Chilling, man. It's been a it's been a busy week, but a fruitful one at that. Um, now I've been getting in my uh, now I signed that a uh, um, that hundred days level up contract. So <laughs> let's get I've it. Been, fo- been focusing on my fitness this week. Um, you know, staying active, getting into a new routine. So. A lot of that, really. And then, uh-huh. you know, things on the two cents side are going. Uh, how about you? What's going on with you? Nah, s- same, you know. So we got the 100 level, hundred days level up challenge or a contract. Yeah, so signed, sealed, and delivered. Let's get to work on that. Um, obviously, uh, I don't want to say we missed last week, but a lot of good things were going on behind the scenes. So we had to push back. We're excited to, you know, get back, get back on track this week. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so uh, let's yeah, let's get right into it. All right, let's jump into it. Um, so Angel City is getting in on the NIL front. Um, they signed four female student athletes as brand ambassadors for the team. Um, so let's see, two student athletes um, go to the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. Um, gymnast Jordan Childs, um, and then Southern California golfer Amari Avery also signed on in addition to that um they agree agreed deals with um wheelchair wheelchair basketball star Lucy sky and skateboarder bryce wetstein um so angel city ambassadors will attend the games will they'll attend the home matches and interact with fans on social media the four influencers will also produce content on instagram and tiktok as well as um, being involved in the club's social media output in addition to that, they will attend community events and have signed up to volunteer at Angel City's outreach events. So what's your thoughts on this? Uh, like professional teams um, getting into the NIL side. I personally love it. Um, I think there might be, there probably is a reason why they're not going after soccer players, maybe like tampering or something. But um, yeah. so how they spin it for like, all right, say it's the golfer or you know, someone in another sport to entice them to go to professional soccer games when it's not specifically their sport. So trying to, I'm interested to see from a content side how they're going to play it, but I definitely think uh, it's good on both sides. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how they push it through. Yeah, for sure. I haven't looked up their social media followings, but I'm assuming that they have large followings um, yeah. if they're targeting them, um, especially using them for, I don't want to say using them, but, you know, employing their their reach for yeah. um for you know instagram and tiktok um, which are heavily focused towards like younger demographics so it looks like you know targeting it right you know like we're trying to reach some younger people exactly. um, trying to bring that newer generation in um, i think it's dope i think it's you know definitely smart that they didn't go out <laughs> i'm pretty sure the legal team was like nah we can't do soccer players because <laughs> for obvious reasons yeah um but um, I think it's definitely a dope idea, and I'm interested to see what other teams begin to do that as well. Yeah, you saw MLS do it with the TikTok, uh, Noah Beck, and I know people were kind of disappointed, at least disappointed thus far, because he hasn't really been posting on his personal channels. He just posts mm-hmm. from, like, the MLS account. So mm-hmm. I'm interested to see. the bag, see. though. Yeah, yeah, he got the <laughs> bag, so it's good on his part. Like, they, you got to right. put that in the d- deliverables that's, uh, or the scope of work. <laughs> that's uh, yeah. MLS's problem. But for uh, Angel City, you know, they're doing all the things the right way so far. And I think I, I think that's going to be a fruitful relationship on both sides. I wonder what the uh, the pay is on that, though. Oh, uh, yeah, you know, that's true. I'm about to hit up Sky and see uh, <laughs> if she knows anything. Yeah, we're going to we're going to get into the roller days, get some number crunching. Yeah. Speaking of social media, though, um, your boy Elon Musk is officially taking over Twitter, um, <laughs> purchasing, <laughs> purchasing the uh, the social media uh, for forty four billion. Um, what's your thoughts on this? Uh, it's crazy. Uh, I mean, this is what big big business people do, right? They buy uh, assets that they think are valuable to conform it to potentially make more money or conform it to however they want because they got the money to do it um uh, yeah it was crazy to see people like up in arms i mean this happens all the time you know, buy low so high um i mean 44 bills is not anything low but um 
I'm interested to see like where he takes it. If he's making like strategical changes or is it kind of just like his ploy for whatever he has in mind next? So yeah, it's going to be interesting. How about you? I mean, he said he wants to bring the free speech back to Twitter. That seems like coded talk for me. For like yeah, because I feel like everyone... far far right talk. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I don't, I don't know. We may see that. Uh, you may see forty five pop up. With, is, that, is that his number? Yeah. Um, pop pack, pop back up on Twitter. I don't know, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, yeah. that's, that's the main reason why we're working on our own platform over here to. <laughs> You know, not be relying on you know another social media platform to amplify our Teach mission. Your voice. Yeah, to yeah. amplify your voice. I feel like, obviously, with like a situation like Forty Five or people that are just crazy on social media, yeah, there's only so much you can do by blocking them. But mm-hmm. like for them to have that, you know, for them to aggregate, I feel like there's always going to be some form, whether it's whatever platform for them to whoever it is to congregate mm-hmm. so uh yeah it's gonna be interesting to see how twitter moves <laughs> moving yeah. forward that's one to watch for sure yeah um so moving on so some pundits have ripped valencia's champions league performance but they have in response they've received enormous backlash on social media so tell me a little bit about this yeah, so there's this, uh, I don't even know, it's on Talk Sport. Uh, people are going around. This guy had a clip where he was like basically berating Valencia's performance. Like they shouldn't be, eh, they, they embarrass themselves, blah, 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 mm. blah, blah. And like, you know, like any uh, take, you know, you're going to have supporters and people that were against it. So it was crazy to see like how Valencia, who's made it to the semis of Champions League, is getting, you know, um, berated like this they just beat Bayern Munich you know they Bayern Munich who's won the, the, the title the Bundesliga title for the past 10 years running uh right. they beat Juventus who's won the Serie A title like nine out of the last eight uh sorry nine out of the last 10 years um and clearly they were missing some players and they were playing away away from home against Liverpool who's been probably one of the top three teams in the last six years so yeah. For them, for him, like obviously everyone has a voice to voice their opinions on sport, but you know some people just say stuff for clickbait. Some people just say stuff to rile up others, uh, and some people just say stuff and they don't know anything about the game. So I thought it was interesting. Uh, yeah, the pundits like receiving a lot of backlash about it, uh, but also you see, receiving a lot of support. Like, yeah, why is River Al should never be here? It's like, I mean, they beat the teams that were in front of them, so. If anyone has a problem, you talk to those other teams. <laughs> right. Yeah, I mean, nobody expected them to be here. So to berate their performance, it's like, you know, yeah. they weren't expected to be here. It's yeah, like they're un- they're Cinderella team. <laughs> like, right. <exactly. laughs> they're under their underdog team against one of arguably the best teams in the past, you know, four or five years. You know? Yeah. So what do you how do you expect their performance to be? And then also if they're actually trying to win, you yeah. know, if they're give if they're giving it a solid go, like of course they're gonna make mistakes against a Liverpool team. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So it's like, come on. And they had them. They had them good until like, whenever they first scored. I mean, it was, it was a tough game, but they didn't score to the second half. So. Yeah. So it's not like that's a win in itself. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so you know, it's just crazy because you know all these different teams, all these different philosophies of the game, but you gotta have a respect factor to it. So you can't just be talking recklessly just to talk. Yeah. For sure. But anyway, shout out to Villarreal um, for making it this far. Um, yeah. Definitely rooting for y'all. You know, maybe you can turn it out in a second. The second yeah, leg. I think they can make it interesting. Maybe like a, yeah. a, they're a only down 2-0, goal. right? Exactly. And they're going home. So, yeah, they're going home. And there's no away goals. So, you know, it's a, there's a chance. There's definitely a chance for them to, to turn it around if, you know, Liverpool has a very off night. So, yeah. But, you know, any given Sunday, any given Thursday, any given <laughs> Wednesday, Tuesday, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, it, it could happen. So, Thanks. yeah, best of luck to them, though. No, most definitely. Um, yeah, but that's it, huh? That's it for our show this week. Uh, subscribe, rate, and review. It helps us get discovered. Follow us on the socials at Two Cents FC. Check out our merch at Two Cents Sports Shop, and then tweet us your comments on the show and any topics you want me or L to discuss. 
Uh, got a lot of cool things coming up. It's going to be a scary summer. Uh, good luck scary. to... <laughs> Good luck to Seattle this uh, upcoming uh, following week in their Champions League game. Uh, let's see if they can take it home. Yeah, for sure. Till next time, y'all. Nah, peace out. Peace.